18 months ago, we set out to answer the question of how far society can go in encouraging people to donate bodily material, uh, organs, tissues, uh, whole bodies. Uh, we concluded that the government has an important role in tackling the health issues that lead to the need for organs in the first place, um, but that it also uh, has a continuing role in trying to make donation as easy as possible. Um, a, a, a significant conclusion of ours is that um, what we call altruism, that is the selfless uh, assisting of others, should remain as it is now at the heart of the whole donation system. Uh, but we don't think that, that is incompatible uh, with introducing certain forms of uh, recompense or reward under particular circumstances. There is currently a shortage of uh, organs for transplantation and we know that three people will die a day whilst they're waiting for, for an organ. One of the recommendations of the report is to look at ways in which we might encourage people to sign on to the organ donor register. And one specific recommendation is to consider paying funeral expenses to the relatives of, of people who, who die. So an individual would decide in life that they would like to go on to the organ donor register, they would discuss their wishes with their family and the option of having their funeral expenses would be made. If somebody were to become an organ donor then that would be discussed with their family and if they wanted to take the funeral expenses then they would be paid. We believe that this is um, consistent with the gift relationship, that it is, a, it is an altruistic approach but it may just provide that extra encouragement, that extra spur for an individual to sign on to the organ donor register and by doing so we, we hope that this will enable more um, potential donors to become actual donors and for more organs to become available for transplantation. We felt that uh, women who donated their eggs within a therapeutic context might have quite different motivations to those who choose to donate their eggs for research purposes. We also felt that it was very important in the context of treatment not to disrupt the sense of a gift and therefore we have decided not to attach any financial value directly to the provision of gametes in that context. However, when we looked at donation for research purposes, we realised that there was quite a good analogy between this form of donation and participation in medical research more generally, participation, for example, in clinical trials. And in that context, we're quite comfortable to uh, acknowledge people's input and the work that they do to help science go forward with some form of financial benefit.